Welcome back to another video of 60 seconds. By the thumbnail, you have already know that I've survived for 737 days. That was not an easy journey. After resetting 33 times, and wasting around 120 hours, I have survived for more than 2 years. That was a hell of an experience. So please subscribe, and smash the like button to show some support. Now let's move on to the video. There is a trick to survive longer. You need to collect medkit, book, mask, bug spray, harmonica, any one game, torch, weapon, and the axe. Radio, map, and suitcase are optional. Collect at least 5 soup and water. Harmonica plays a major role to survive. I will explain later in the video so don't skip. Don't forget to take your whole family. They play key roles to survive. As we have to go long way, we will start nice and slow. We have started with 5 soup and 8 water. I will give water every 5 days and soup every 10 days. As the game has same repeated process. I will jump cut some parts to make this video small. Actual video is for 3 hours 20 minutes. I will try to keep this video within 20 minutes.
As our supplies are running low, we will do our first supply run. We will skip some more grinding. Getting mutated Mary Jane is crucial. We can get it by spiders or not smashing cockroaches or from green puddle. Therefore I am not taking any steps for this cockroaches. Finally the day has come. We have got mutated Mary Jane. Life will be much better now. For mutated Mary Jane, we don't need to give her water. Another jump cut to important incident. We have finally rescued our dog, Pancake. He is really great. Pancake often go outside and bring soup or water by himself. Now I will explain why the harmonica is so important. You can disarm the raid by the bandits unlimited times with the harmonica. This only happens if Mary Jane is mutated. Or else the harmonica gets damaged on the second use. We can use the harmonica endless times. We have crossed 200 days.
We keep on grinding and disarming raids with harmonica. Day 300 in the same process going on. At this moment, I have made a terrible mistake. I was so sleepy while recording and wasn't focusing properly. By the time I realized my mistake, it was already too late. I didn't select any tools and Pancake sacrifice himself to save us. May his soul rest in peace. We have completed a full year. In my one year survival video, some people commented that 360 days isn't a year. So here it is guys. We have survived for 400 days. We have survived for 500 days. Who would have thought anyone can survive this long? Another 100 days passed. We survived for 600 days. In between we have been attacked by the bandits, firefighters, and raiders. Day 700. Even after repeated supply run, most of time everyone coming back with empty hands. After long survival, it's really hard to get any soup or water. On top of that, we are getting attacked by the bad guys. We are surviving with the minimum supplies. I've also noticed a pattern. If we send from older to younger, then the chances of getting supplies are higher.
Finally we have reached day 737. You might be thinking why 737? Well, this person commented to survive for 737 days. So challenge completed. If you want to get a shout out in my future video, then comment something interesting and I will give a shout out. The series hasn't over yet. If you want me to push further, give this video 1000 likes and I will complete 1000 days challenge. If you like my videos and want to support this channel for this kind of crazy challenges, then a donation will be very helpful. PayPal link in the description. If you can't, then you can help me by watching my other videos as well. See you on another video, till then, peace.